The idea of viruses as inert molecular entities has progressively been transformed since scientists began to discover the myriad of interactions that occur during the intracellular phase of virus life. Three-dimensional imaging technologies are beginning to have significant impact in the field of virology as they are helping us understand how viruses take control of cells. Viruses are small. With diameters that go from a few nanometers to about one micron, they can only be seen in detail with the resolution of the electron microscope. When studying large structures, like those assembled by viruses in cells, we need the power of 3D imaging. The reason is that in conventional electronic microscopy, cells have to be sectioned in very thin slides of 50 to 100 nanometers, thinner than the diameter of the virus. The platforms where viruses replicate are known as viral factories, and their size is much bigger. They often occupy large areas of the cells. In ultra-thin sections, important features can be missed. With the help of 3D imaging, new structures and interactions participating in virus entry, viral genome replication, assembly and maturation, egress and propagation are being discovered. This review focuses on selected recent methodological advances in subcellular 3D imaging that have been especially useful in describing virus cell interactions and the characterization of specialized structures formed in virus-infected cells. These methodologies include electron tomography, 3D reconstructions of serial sections, and focused ion beam scanning electron microscopy, also known as FIPSEM. Oriented serial sections are collected in an ultramicrotome and visualized by transmission electron microscopy. Images are aligned and processed for 3D reconstruction. Viral factories contain interorganelle contacts not observed in non-infected cells. Their complex architecture is starting to be revealed with the help of 3D imaging. Electron tomography samples are loaded onto a transmission electron microscope tilted in incremental degrees, and 2D images are collected at each angle. The series of images is then combined to generate a 3D reconstruction. Electron tomography has revealed the organization of viral replication organelles. These 3D imaging techniques have captured dramatic morphological changes in both the virion and host cell during viral assembly and maturation. Another 3D imaging technique used to visualize viral infection is FIPSEM. Cells are embedded in resin and abraded nanometers at a time using a gallium ion beam, slicing through the cell. Each slice is serially imaged using scanning electron microscopy as the fib ablates the cell layer by layer. And the SEM images are used to generate a 3D map of the cell. FIBSEM has the advantage of being able to image volumes many microns thick and latest developments have allowed the imaging of very large volumes, above 10,000 micrometers. The application of FIPSEM and electron tomography to cell-cell contacts has revealed further new information about the 3D cellular architecture of virological synapses. 
In the future, we will need to develop new digital tools for image processing and segmentation, as well as more robust methods to label macromolecules in the 3D volumes. This will be essential to understand the complex 3D models of virus-infected cells and to extend these analyses to the molecular level. The combination of 3D imaging at the ultrastructural level with live cell microscopy with facilitate connection with dynamic studies to understand the biogenesis of virus-induced structures in the infected cell. Virologists, cell biologists, and people interested in cell pathogen interactions or curious about cell architecture will discover how 3D imaging is helping us to learn more about viruses and cells.